What are the 10 things I no longer spend my money on? I don't spend my money on these 10 things. I have stopped. I have learned my lesson. I have learned to move on. I have learned to live without these 10 things. I don't spend my money on them. My money stays in my pocket when it comes to these 10 things. And I'm going to share them with you. Would you like to know? Stay with me. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, The Bulletproof Life. My name is Ronke Odeumi and I'm delighted to have you here. If you are new to my channel, please press the red button on your right to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell so you can get notifications every time I share a new video. We are here to build a bulletproof life. We are here to take control of our personal finance and today I'm going to be talking about 10 things I no longer spend my money on. So let's get right into it. I don't spend my money on these 10 things. And I'm sure you're curious. I wonder what are these 10 things? I don't care doesn't spend our money on. The first thing I don't spend my money on is credit card interest charges. I no longer spend my money on it. If a credit card has interest charges, it's not for me. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to apply for it. The only credit card I have business with are balance transfer credit cards. Zero interest rate credit cards. There are either zero interest rate credit card for you to spend and pay back or there are zero interest rate credit cards for you to uh, transfer existing balances to. You should look out for them too if you haven't been doing that before. You should look out for zero interest credit cards. They are the best way to go so that you are borrowing money but you are not paying interest on it. There is no better way to borrow money when you have to. So zero interest credit cards are the way forward and credit card interest charges are a no-no for me. I've said bye-bye to them. The second thing I no longer spend my money on are memberships I don't use. And I know a lot of us are guilty of this. We have memberships that we don't use and our money just keeps going into those things. I don't do them anymore. If there's a membership that I'm about to get, I ask myself genuinely, Ronke, are you going to use it? Because if you're not going to use it, don't put your money to it. I remember once I joined the gym in my office, three months payment plan. You know, they had a deal and everything, but you had to pay for three months. So I joined for three months. The first month I was going to go, I was there, I was going, I was using my money's worth, you know. At the end of the day, I think it came down to me spending five pounds every time I used the gym. That was what the calculations came to. That was how frequently I was going to the gym. The second month, I halved it. The third month, I didn't show up at all. And I realized I'm not one for the gym. I'm not the kind of person who wants to go to the gym. I prefer to do my exercises at home, in front of my TV, using YouTube channels. I prefer to go for long walks. In short, memberships I don't use. I don't pay for them anymore. And for you, it might not be the gym. You might be somebody who's very good at maintaining usage when you register for the gym. But there might be other things that you pay for, magazines that you don't read, memberships that you don't use. The point is, don't pay for memberships that you're not going to use. This next one is not something that you pay for, you know, but it happens to the best of us and you actually end up paying for it. It's not a purchase, but it happens. And it's parking tickets. Oh, there was a time I used to get parking tickets. I was the coin of parking tickets. I got those things. Every month I got a parking ticket. Why? Because I pack anyhow. Because I would just pack. I won't read the notice. I won't try to understand it. Sometimes I will understand it. And I will think, oh, I will just dash out very quickly. You know, I didn't look out for parking signs. And I'll just see a free parking spot. And I'll jump into it. And I'll get a ticket. That's one thing I no longer allow my money to go to. So when I see a parking spot that's free, I ask myself, where is the rule? Where is the sign? What's the requirement here? If I don't know, I ask the person I'm visiting. I ask the store or shop I'm going to. I ask where I'm going, the appointment where I'm going for. I ask them, is the parking free? Do I need to pay? Because my money is no longer going to parking fines. They are staying in my pocket. Amazon Prime. Cancelled. My money is no longer going to Amazon Prime. Especially because... Most of the time, the things I need from Amazon, I can wait an extra day or two to get them. They are really urgent. There's really anything I want to get from Amazon that I will fall apart if it didn't come in 24 hours. So for me, there is no benefit to Amazon Prime personally. There was a time when it had a lot of benefit for me, you know, because I was buying nappies and it was on repeat and I wanted it to come early. I wanted it to come on time. Even then... I never really ran out of nappies such that I needed it to arrive within the next 12 hours, but I had Amazon Prime then. 
And I had it for a long time beyond because I thought I was getting something from it. But now that I've checked it out, I've looked at it over the last few months and I've decided, no, Amazon Prime is not getting my money. I don't need to give Amazon my money in that particular way. It's bad enough that I shop Amazon so much. So they don't need to get my money when it comes to Prime. So Amazon Prime is another thing I no longer spend my money on. Shop coffees, cafe coffees. I used to like those things, the cappuccinos, the lattes, the mochas. No, not anymore. I make my coffee at home. I have all sorts of special reusable cups I can use to make coffees at home. You know, you can even get coffee machines. You can get all sorts of lovely little coffee machines that will make you the different kinds of coffee that you like at a much cheaper rate than going into a shop or a cafe for coffee. I'm sorry if my viewer, you're a shop owner or a cafe owner, and you're looking at me like I'm ruining business for you. I'm really sorry, but this is one thing I no longer spend money on. Cafe coffees. I know no for me. I've said goodbye to Cafe Nero. I've said goodbye to Starbucks. I've said goodbye to all those coffee shops. Now, quick one. If you see me in the city one day and you see me walking into a Starbucks, please chase me down and ask me what I'm doing there. Because we are human and who knows what's going to happen in the next few months. But right now, Cafe coffees are a no-no for me. I have not had them this year. That's how disciplined I've been. I've not had shop-bought coffee this year. Health and fitness products, you know, the pre-workout uh, powder, the post-workout powder, the ginseng, all of those things. There was a time I fell into that box and I was buying them and mixing them up and eating them and drinking them and expecting six pack. Now, I know they work. I'm not saying they don't work. I'm sure they work for a lot of people. But personally, I found them quite pricey. So protein products, protein shakes, health products, all of those things, fitness powders are something I don't put my money to anymore. The last set I bought literally expired in my cupboard because I didn't use them, I didn't drink them. And I've decided I don't need them in my life. I really don't see what they do. And I can lose weight, I can get fit without using health and fitness products and protein powders. Kitchen gadgets I don't use. That's another one that stopped getting my money. I used to like the idea of buying kitchen gadgets. Oh, rice cooker, got it. Oh, let's buy bread maker. Oh, let's buy that one. Let's buy this one. And then they sit um, on the prime spot on my kitchen cabinet for a few weeks. And then they go into the cupboards and they don't come out ever again. I don't use them. Now, I'm not dissing gadgets. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy gadgets. I'm just saying, you know, buying gadgets that you don't use is a waste of your money. And so I've stopped buying kitchen gadgets I don't use. If a bread maker is going to make life easier for you and you buy it and you're going to use it a lot, feel free to buy it. But I know myself, like even a rice cooker, which is like the, literally the most useful of gadgets, rusted away in my kitchen cupboard because I found out I'm the girl that prefers to cook her rice in a normal regular pot. So I ended up not using my rice cooker as much as I thought I would. So now I no longer buy kitchen gadgets unless I have identified that I really, really, really need it and I'm going to use it a lot. Bottled water. That's another thing that no longer gets my money. I don't buy them anymore. It's a scam. Bottled water is such a scam. Like what is in it? What are they selling you exactly? Is the bottle? Because they could be filling the bottle with tap water and then they put spring water in front of it. Like, I don't know who this is. I'm, I'm not here to attack anybody, but really, can you tell the difference between two different kinds of bottled water? Can you really? Most of the time you can't. And so I prefer to fill my bottle from home. There are so many reusable bottles out there that you can get. You can even customize them with a sticker. You can get a print off sticker and print it and stick it to your bottle and it's your name or, you know, boss lady, big boy, what, whatever you want to put on your bottle. You can do that, fill it with water and take it out wherever you're going. And you plan your day around your water bottle. You plan your day, you get your water, you go. You don't have to buy bottled water. I do not spend money on bottled water anymore. I fill my bottle from home. I take it everywhere with me. I'm a happy bunny. That one pound, that two dollars doesn't have to go to bottled water anymore. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Not me. The other thing that's not getting my money anymore are mobile phone contracts. Now, this one is a big one. Because I was a mobile phone contract girl for a long time. Every two years, I'm on a new mobile phone contract. You know, go to the um, phone providers. They give you a contract, the two-year contract. You get a brand new phone, SIM card, all of that. I don't do that anymore. 
if there's nothing wrong with my phone, I keep using it and I'm on a SIM only contract. And a SIM only contract just costs like 10 quid or like 15 quid and I'm good to go. And once this phone packs up, I'm just going to buy whatever phone I can afford and put my SIM in it. I'm no longer spending my money on phone contracts that cost me like 40 pounds, 30 pounds a month, go on for two years. After two years, I'm running over and getting a new phone. I don't need a new phone every two years. For me, as a financially frugal person, it's unnecessary and that's something I'm not spending my money on anymore. The last thing I'm not spending my money on anymore are impulse purchases, impulse and unplanned purchases those purchases that you make because you've seen something on instagram those purchases you make because you're just moody you want to give yourself a lift off you want to just make yourself feel better no i don't make them anymore i will build a basket and leave it for weeks and weeks and weeks until i'm really sure this is something i can afford until i can plan for it it can fit into my budget i'm sure it's something that i can buy without impacting my budget negatively or my expenses or my income or my savings negatively then i go for it so impulse purchases or planned purchases are another thing that i no longer spend my money on i think i've given you about 10 things i no longer spend my money on i hope you enjoyed listening to that are you going to tell me the things you don't spend your money on anymore? I'll be waiting to hear them in the comment section. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys don't spend your money on anymore. Maybe I can add to my list and have more things I don't spend my money on. Now that you know the things I don't spend my money on. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please like, share, comment, connect with me, share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please press the red button on your right. Don't forget to press the bell. I'm really grateful to have you guys here as my community, rooting for me, watching my videos, commenting, liking. I appreciate you guys. I love you for watching. Thank you for coming this far with me. We are building a bulletproof life together and I'm glad to be doing it with you. Until my next video, you take care of yourself and keep living that bulletproof life. Bye.